the Kiamba by election is going to offer an opportunity for both President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to send a political message to their supporters in central region politics. <laughs> and therefore, in case President Uhuru Kenyatta's candidate is going to win this by election, this will offer an opportunity for him to redeem his image and name. Many people have believed that in case the Jubilee Party is going to lose this by election, which is happening right away in Camp County, President Uhuru Kenyatta will not be in a position to redeem his image. And for that reason, everyone will see him as a lame duck president. <laughs> so, Jubilee is burning the midnight oil to make sure that they are correcting the mistake that they made in Georgia by election where Moses Kuria's candidate beaten the Jubilee candidate hands down. And the, the deputy president, William Samoy Ruto, is also not leaving anything to chance. In case UDA candidate is going to win this by-election, Ruto will have stamped his footprint in Mount Kenya region politics. Any person who is serious heading to 2022 general election would, would want to align themselves with a person who will be seen as a winner, with a person who will be seen as a, a, a leader who can persuade people, convince people to vote for their candidate in their party. So for that reason, this is an opportunity for those this, uh, both leaders. And therefore, heading forward, eh, they are emerging political realignment even during these by-elections. What we have witnessed in Jubilee Party confirmed the fact that Ruto is not sleeping at any point. After Jubilee Party conducted their interviews, they came out with the person that they have settled in as their candidate. And this is Karanja Kariri Njamba. That is the aspirant for Jubilee in Kiamba by election. Muranga Joseph Kindiji is also the aspirant for the MCA in Muguga by election. And therefore, we have people who are dissatisfied with the move that Jubilee Party took. They did not got that ticket. But before I explain to you that move and what is happening between Dr. William Samoy Ruto and Moses Kuria currently, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to this channel. Just consider subscribing to this channel so that any other time, once we come out with a video like this one, YouTube will definitely not find you. And to everyone who have subscribed to this channel, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support to this platform. Actually, the more you subscribe here, the more you allow us to reach more people outside there. Now, let us get back to our discussion. Immediately after Jubilee announced their aspirant, <laughs> we have other people who had presented themselves to go for that seat also. And this includes someone like Damanis Wambui, a person who has worked very diligently for Jubilee Party since all the time when it was still a TNA party. So it means she worked under President Uhuru Kenyatta in TNA and therefore also she moved on to Jubilee Party. So for her, since the member of parliament died, she has been on the ground popularizing for a candidature as the able leader to take over that seat. But she felt grieved after Jubilee did not offer that opportunity to her. Instead, after that, she has protested and as we are speaking now, she is in UDA party, supporting the candidature of Dr. William Samway Ruto. I withdrew and there are support candidature. Yeah, Jubilee in Wakia Ba. Asantini San. Thank you. Thank you very much. To my dear followers, I have been chased out of the 11th hour. I have no place to go. I cannot come.
come and buy and ask to represent you because the timelines have been closed. I want to seek you and urge each one of you. The future is today. We are the future. And we have to sit down with people who understand our ideas. Yeah. We have to negotiate with people who understand what we are saying. We are the youth. We are the future. We have the ideas. But how can I go and tell my grandfather about my idea? He will not understand. We are in the 21st century. I can come to Mashiro Wanjiko. He will understand me. He will understand what I'm trying to do. But I can't go to some people who have no ideas, have no plans, have no agendas, and explain to them what I want to do. I am not going to vie for a member of parliament for Kiamba, but I will support my brother. Maybe. This is not an accident. It was planned to happen like this. The protest we are seeing here was stage managed. Probably, Damaris knew that she's not going to get the Jubilee candidate uh, ticket. For that reason, she was already heading to UDA party. But again, going that much earlier, it was not going to serve the interest of UDA party. Instead, she wanted to at least get the sympathy by making that protest after being taken through the interview and missing to get that ticket. For that reason, she's going to move with the followers who have been backing her candidature throughout her campaigns in Juja, sorry, in Kiamba constituency. So already, this is the kind of drama that we are seeing outside here. For that reason, this is also going to be a plus for UDA party. And again, as if that one was not enough, the deputy president has used all means to make sure that he's getting a good opportunity to actually face President Uhuru Kenyatta in that by-election to prove a point. For that reason, the deputy is going to reduce any chances of other candidates feeling their aspirant in that by-election, starting with Moses Kuria. The DP has gone down to negotiate with Kuria. And as we are speaking now, Kuria has decided to give the deputy president an ear. They have now settled down to agree that the People's Empowerment Party is pulling down their candidate and for that reason supporting the UDA candidate as we are speaking now. <laughs> so these leaders have had a, mess a meeting and after that meeting they have agreed. And before that, already... There was division, a very huge division. This was offering an, an opportunity to Jubilee Party because Jubilee was just as a one. And now the Hustler Nation, which was seen largely, Moses Kuria being part of it, had already shown the, the signs of division. Regarding the Gashaka was outside there saying that Hustler Nation have their candidate. The Jubilee candidate is the Hustler Nation candidate. And that Moses Kuria candidate is just his own candidate. For that reason, Moses Kuria is not part of Jubilee, sorry, UDA, part. <laughs> Kimani Chunga also alleged to this issue. They were dissatisfied with the move that Moses Kuria was taking to fill a candidate in that by-election. Division was taking sides and everyone was clear that now Hustle Nation is a divided country, is a, divi is a divided movement but now Ruto in his own wisdom he's using all means possible to take care of the interest of these politicians because remember every politician will always put in front their interest so Ruto is taking care of the interest of all these people sacrificing anything available to make sure that he's having his way Ruto want to dictate the central region politics. He want to be the face of central region politics. He want to prove a point to central region leaders. 
But again, President Uhuru Kenyatta is here to redeem his image. Uhuru Kenyatta wants to control the 2022 elections and 2022 politics largely in the central region. So there is a wrestle here between these two leaders. We don't know how, if Jubilee, how Jubilee is going to manage this issue because already they had an advantage, but now this issue has been solved down there. The statement from Moses Kula is a very long statement on Facebook. I don't know if I can read it, but maybe I can just read part of this. In uh, this, um, I can read just part of that statement, but not all of it because it's a very long statement. Just to give you the brief of it, after they had settled this issue with Dr. William Samoy Ruto. I'm saying this because there are issues that Moses Kula is writing here. Remember, he's mentioning the service party, Ilaya Mwangi Kiunjuri. He is talking about STP party. And then also he is talking about the UDA party leadership, whereby he's saying UDA party is being led by members of National Assembly, elected members, while his People's Empowerment Party is just being led by youth and women who are not elected anywhere. So he also talked about Rigatha Gashagwe and also Kimani Chungwa in that issue. So it means he is still disagreeing with Kimani Chungwa and Rigatha Gashagwe and he is still telling the deputy president that look here, my party is largely led by just youth and women, but UDA party is being led by elected leaders and senior colleagues, but still they are making mistakes. So let us check into that statement. So this is a statement. The People's Empowerment Party is a member and a stakeholder in the Hustler Nation. Alongside Johnson Mudamas led UDA, Mangi Kiyunjuris led TSP, COSTP is TSP, and Omingo Magaras led PDP. We offer a platform for political participation and membership in leadership for a new crop of leaders and professionals whom we believe will drive this country forward, safeguarding our national and make our people feel safe and uh, secured, confidence of our future and uh, that of our children. Whereas PEP is driven by our ordinary men and women, <laughs> mostly the youth, our sisters, our sister party, UDA is largely driven by my colleague, the incumbent MPs, who I respect a lot, both complement each other. PEP message of hope and renewal has been endorsed by the voters of Gaturi Ward in, in Muranga on 15th December 2020 and the Georgia constituency on 18th May 2021. He goes on to say, We wanted to present this message for approval by the people of Kiamba constituency on 15th July. However, this did not go well down very this did not go down very well with my colleagues, particularly Rigathe Gashagwe and Kimani Ichungwa. Kimani Ichungwa. So he goes on to say, yesterday I had an extensive discussion with the, my boss and a friend, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto on this matter to make my two colleagues happy and above all for the unity of the Hustler Nation PEP will not fail a candidate in Kiamba. So that is the message so meaning they have resolved to fail one candidate and support. Now tell me what do you see in the Kiamba politics heading to that election in the comment section. Thank you so much I think this is the longest video I have done. See you in my next video.